The next question says the moment of inertia of a thin uniform rod of length 2 meter and mass 2 kg about an axis passing through one end and making an angle of 60 degree with its length. Now what we are trying to say is say this is the rod of length 2 meter. Let's mark it as L and this is the axis about which moment of inertia is supposed to be calculated and let's say that angle is 60 degree. So if we want to find the moment of inertia of this rod the axis has to be perpendicular to that rod right. So for that if we resolve the rod into two components something like this saying the one component will be over here and the other component will be over here. So this part of the rod will be L cos 60 which is along the axis and this part will be L sin 60 which is perpendicular to the axis. So for this part of the rod the moment of inertia is 0. So moment of inertia is applicable only for this part which means the moment of inertia is going to be m l sin 60 the whole square by 3 because it is passing through its end that makes it m l square sin 60 as we know is root 3 by 2 the whole square by 3 now mass is given as 2 length is given as 2 so square will be 4 root 3 by 2 will become 3 by 4 the whole upon 3 this things gets cancelled and so we get the final moment of inertia as 2 kg meter square